Hello, beautiful people. It's your girl, Shakara Diane, and I am here with a message of reading, a just an energy update and flow. So flow with me. Um, I feel like this is going to be a beautiful read already because of what is out here and what I'm seeing and what's been spoken to me and in the charms and everything. So let's get into it without delay. So... Um, in the charms, May came out, M-A-E, and that is a name, but we are in the month of May, and that's what came to mind. It's about the month. May is about being able to see clearly and know clearly what it is that you want and going after it. The frog charm is out here. And when I think of a, a frog, I think of going and taking a leap of faith. That you are in a position to go see and do action. It's time to take action for what it is that you want in your life. You have to be the one to go and do it. To get it. To see it. To experience it. And so take the leap. Also, look up the deeper meaning. The spiritual meaning of a frog. And pumpkin is out here. And when I seen this, Cinderella's story came to mind. How the pumpkin changed into a horse and carriage and was able to be something different than what it is ordinarily, a pumpkin. And so it's about fairy tales coming true that you have to know that fairy tales in your life is able to be real it is real because that's what you say it to be and so it's the transforming in your mind going on because also two eyes are out here and that made me think of vision i your eyes or what is going to help you see everything unfold the vision that you have for you in your life those connected to you in your life, you got to see it first. Then you're going to live it. So what's your vision like? What's your eyes? Are you seeing double? Are you seeing clear what it is that you want? Get clear on it. And then it's a, a four-leaf clover. Four-leaf clover represents luck. It represents good things, good fortune coming. And we have a dog with a bone. So dog with a bone, you have the substance that you need. You have it in your mouth already. You have it in your possession already. It's yours. And so the towers, the things that had to crash down in order to be rebuilt on a better foundation had to happen in order for you to end with the bone. With a bone of substance, of abundance, of overflow, of more than enough, unexpectedly and suddenly, it all leveled out for you. So the charms, I got it laid out in four, and then this one, the fifth one, on its own. And so that represents five. Five represents change. All these things have to be lined up in order for you to see where it is that you want to go, how you're going to get there, the luck and the fortune and, and everything that you wanted, and then actually having it. And I'm just flowing, but it just be speaking to me. And it just flow out how it's supposed to. This is for somebody. And it might even be for me. And four represents protection, loyalty, and stability. 
that while you taking this leap of faith, while you going, seeing, and doing, you protect it. It, re it represents being able to trust the process, trust the transformation, trust that all these things is changing, is falling, is being rebuilt, is this, is that for your greatest and highest good. You got to trust in the fairy tale. You got to trust in the beauty of it all. You got to trust in the ugliness of it all because it's going to reap a benefit of you having that bone. What's the bone? Whatever it is you've been asking for. Stability, loyalty, love, companionship, friendship, better. It's all wrapped in in the process. It's all wrapped in the fall apart and put back together. It's all wrapped in in the process of gaining and losing and trusting in yourself, remembering who you are and whose you are. It's all in the process. So in the month of May, you are going through this process to see it unfold as the months and the years go on. It's happening right before your eyes is unfolding. And so moving along in the cards that came out is rejoice and celebration. When you are rejoicing in celebration, it's about the process at hand. What was going on at hand? You are celebrating. Your heart got to be open in order to receive all that you've been asking for up until that point of celebration. The preparation for the celebration. It's all needed. You can't just show up to the celebration and, and think that it's all going to get together. And be together. No, you got to have this together. That together. That's together. And then you celebrate. Think of a wedding. Every single aspect of a wedding, somebody had to have a hand on that. Somebody had to plan that. Somebody had to want that and get it. And then it all come together at the wedding, at the reception. You see, oh, those are nice flowers. That's because somebody wanted that. Oh, those are nice centerpieces. It's because somebody wanted it like that. You don't just show up out of nowhere. Somebody had to plan and execute that to get to the beautiful and the beautifulness of it unfold right before your eyes. It's a process. And so, yeah, it, it's time now to celebrate. You got to know it. And third eye chakra is about knowing trusting what it is you see in your third eye having the faith to trust in your gut to trust in your vision to trust in what you see before you before it even get in your hands you gotta trust the process six is about harmony it's about reliability you gotta rely on yourself sometimes and most times, that's where God is leading you to be able to rely on yourself so that the process don't get delayed any further because you are wanting to look on the outside of you. No, you got to rely on yourself. You got to bring harmony within yourself. And balance out the scales within yourself so that everything can continue on in a orderly fashion. And then recognition and reward. This is red for root. Root chakra is about 
safety. It's about knowing that you are secure within everything and every aspect of your life. Three, it's about you. Mind, body, and soul on a connected level, aligned within you. This recognition and reward is here for you. Like I said in the other video, you don't do it for the recognition and reward, but you got to know it's coming because you're good. you good to people in their face and behind their back. you just good. And so, therefore, you got to know that you're going to reap that in your life. You're going to reap goodness and gladness in your life simply because you are that. When you send it out, it's going to come back to you. So be careful what you're sending out. You want to see good and in and, and everything in your life? Be good. Be good to yourself. Be good to other people. And it's going to come back multiplied to you. And so it's time now to actually start seeing it in your life. Because you're calling it in. And... It's going to come to you because what you seeking is also seeking you. So you got to be patient. Be patient in the dark times. Be patient in the times where you are the seed and it's dark. Seeds grow in darkness. And once that seed sprout out and starts to grow, look at the flower. It's growing. Beyond what you even can imagine or fathom. So you got to be patient. You got to be patient with this process. And I know some of us might be in a in, in a season where we tired of hearing it. We tired of hearing, oh, be patient. So don't worry. We, we tired of hearing it. But it just is what it is. You got to be patient with the process because... Like I said with the wedding, it's the process. You don't just show up and everything just magically there. No, it, it was a process to get everything how it needed to be in order for the day to go on. And so with life, it's the process. You're not just going to show up at the finish line. No, you got to go through this step, this step, this step to build you to help you to grow you to put in good seeds and reap a harvest from that good seed you planted but you gotta be patient because as soon as you put a seed in the ground it does not grow it has to be nourished you gotta water it you gotta tend to it you gotta get it, it gotta be able to be in fertile ground to even grow you got to get to that place of knowing where to plant your seeds and how to plant them and so it's the process you got to be patient with and one two or four is five it's about change change is good it's happening so that you can get to your fertile grounds to your bone so these other cards are saying the same thing and it's just it just flows well how it all came out that star brothers Horus energy protection loyalty safety trust all of this has to happen along the way and i paired it with third eye chakra because you got to trust in yourself before you can trust anyone or anything on the outside of you. You got to be able to know I'm protected. I got to be loyal to myself. I'm safe within my gifts and, and within me, around me, surrounding me, everything pertaining to me. I'm safe. And I got to trust this process. And everything is happening for me to grow for me to get to where it is that I want to be and need to be is it's good and it's all working for a greater cause look up Hulk 
in Horus energy. And also everything is going to be um, posted in the description box down below as well. So you can also just read if you want to look deeper into these things. I also just recommend you research and read and go within and just know and trust that what's being told to you is for you. And if it's not, if it don't resonate, leave it. It's okay. And on top of that, transcendence and unity. That everything is flowing for you to come into union with yourself, within yourself, to be balanced in your life, to be balanced within every aspect of your life. Mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually, financially, everything is being balanced and you're able to transcend higher, go higher within each level. It's happening. And then we have lost lands on top of recognition and rewards that your soul is remembering soul memories and gifts. You've done this before. So you recognizing that you've done this before and this is in you, not on you. So your soul know what to do. And with that being said, you already just got it in you. You just got to remember. You just got to trust it. You just got to flow with it. And it's ancient. And with it being ancient, you remembering. I feel familiar with this. And so you go towards it. You reach out towards it, what you're familiar with. A baby that's friendly or a, a dog, an animal that's friendly. They're going to come towards you because they they feel you and they they recognize you as good and they and they want to come towards you and they reach out to you so this is you reaching out to what it is that your soul already know and you trust in the process of that and then on top of patience jump in andro mendon energy again that's gonna be in the description box below for you to look up later Adventure. Say yes to change. One, two, uh, four is five. So change. Jump in. Jump all in to change. Take the leap of faith to change and to get you to the, the growth that your soul is desiring. Jump in. You already know it. Your ancient soul has already done this before and you're starting to recognize it. And so trust the, the adventure. Have fun with it. Life is meant to be lived and have fun. Not to just be paying bills, not to be stressing, not to be worrying, not to be de depressed, down, and sad. None of that. It's meant to be enjoyed. Whether your life right now is hard to, to believe that, find it in you deep down inside pull it up and pull it out and be like you know what i'm enjoying this day today i don't give a fuck i'm gonna enjoy it because you choose to and you have the right to enjoy your life please hear me clear enjoy it because a lot of people didn't get the chance to do that and you got the chance to shift the perspective if you're having a bad day if you're having a down season you got the power to change that you got the power to shift your perspective and be like you know what i got activities of my limbs to go for a walk in this fresh air it's getting warmer outside so i'm gonna go out and i'm gonna enjoy something because i so choose to see the beauty in today just because I can go out and go for a walk and be in nature and hear the beautiful birds chirping something something 
And as I say that, I hear birds chirping. So it's just all confirmation. If you so choose it to be and to look into deeper aspects of your life that I'm going to enjoy today. Because I got breath in my body to do so. Ashe. And so, say yes to change and self-care. That you you have to cultivate this self-change energy. Self-care, I mean. That you have the ability to bring it in your life. That you're going to care for yourself gladly. That you are going to be able to do something for yourself and, and, and feel good doing it. That's where the gladly come in. Excuse me. I gladly take care of myself because I can do it. So I'm happy that I can just give myself some alone time. I can eat a good meal. I can drink some water. I can take a shower and and meditate in that shower and just bring myself to a peaceful state of being. I can do that and I'm gonna do it gladly. I'm not gonna complain about taking care of myself. I am glad to do it. And that is that with the cards. Um, the bottom of the deck, nine. Material harvest. That's just confirmation. That your bank accounts is overflowing. These, these two buildings back here, it remind me of a bank account. When you're signing up for your accounts and routers, those branches, bank branches, it's overflow. Mm -hmm. Material, spiritual, emotional, whatever it is, there's a harvest going on. After the purge, it's a harvest, it's a replenish. After you pull up and pluck out, you got to replenish. So it's a harvest going on. Yes. Feel into you. That the, the tough cycles are over. Nine is for completion. After nine months or so, a baby is born. Nine, completion, complete. It's also about reliability and being able to be resourceful within yourself. Material harvest, claim it. And it's also red, root, root chakra. It's stability, it's safety. It is being able to know that you are well taken care of affirm it over your life on the bottom i love this card because it makes me think of the manna of god just everything is flowing butter and honey milk and honey everything is just great and grand greener greenery is life surrender to the sweetness venus energy pleasure joy make love to life like i said enjoy your life venus energy is about pleasure it's about kicking back and having a good jolly old time just because you choose to it's about luxury it's about beauty so choose beauty choose to see it in everything you do Take a step back and see the goodness and the gladness and everything. And surely you will see it. Look how beautiful this is. And everything is just flowing. That your relationships are going to be in harmony. You are going to be happy, healthy, and whole, beautiful, flourished, flourishing, glowing. It's for you. That double portion. It look like it's two moons. <laughs> double. Double portion. 
is coming in here for you. Wish fulfillment. Your wishes are coming to fruition. That celebrations, that these cycles of struggle and being silent and not having what you need and want is over. It's done. It's complete. Man, completion. And that now you are in a season of having what you need and want. Sand, you can't even count sand. It's the infinite abundance here for you. Infinite abundance out of nowhere. So open to receive. Be open to your wishes coming true for you. And it is so. And it is so. And it is so. So that's what I got. And that, that is beautiful. Like I said, it would be. Take it in. Claim it. Speak it. Until you see it as yours. All right? So that's the message. Abundance is here for you. That you've been through enough. You've had enough. And now it's time for... The energy to come in and, and be good to you and be good for you and reciprocate and fill you up for once is here for you. And so, if that resonated with you, if that was something you needed to hear, comment, like, and subscribe to Shakar Nye. And until next time, peace.